morning, I'd like to start by thanking you for coming along to do this interview. And perhaps you'd start by explaining a little bit about yourself and your family. Right. Uh, my name is Irene. I'm married. I'm a housewife with two children. And I live in Blythe, in a mining community. And I'm 35 years old. And what does your husband do? My husband's an underground electrician for the NCB. And how old are your children? Stephen is 12 and John's 8. So how long ago did you first become unwell? Uh, well, I was 31 when I first realised that something was wrong. I had slight pains in the bottom left hand, uh, right hand side of the abdomen. Um, not a very big pain, something that I just pushed to one side and got on with my life, not thinking there was anything wrong. Uh, and then, while lying in bed one morning, I felt a lump in the right hand side and, uh, you know, realised obviously that that shouldn't be there. And when I pressed that it was sore, so I phoned and made an appointment at the doctor's and uh, had it investigated, had a scan and confirmed that there was a lump there which they thought was an ovarian cyst. And when I went into hospital to have it removed, uh, well, I asked first of all when I came to from the anaesthetic whether I'd had a hysterectomy or whether it was uh, just the ovary had been removed and everybody was very vague. Nobody would tell me exactly what had been done. This was the nurses and they were, you know, fussing with the bedclothes and not meeting us directly in the eye. And uh, I started getting very frightened by this evasiveness and wondering, you know, oh, you know, what's going on here? And the fear inside, because at the back of me, I thought, have I got cancer? And uh, as I say, I asked people who said, wait. And uh, by the end of the day, Mr. came and told me that they had found something. Can well, I said to him, have you found cancer? And he said, yes, we did find something there. And uh, I immediately asked him if they'd got it all away. And he said, no, that there was some that was left behind. And then I asked him how long I had to live. And he said he didn't know. Did Would you I, believe him? That I had cancer. Yes, I did because, you know, they'd, they'd, they'd opened me up and they'd obviously seen it. Um, but he did tell me that I would get treatment, chemotherapy, so I felt that there was hope. And that's what I clung on to, that although I had cancer, that I was going to get treatment and that maybe this treatment would shrink it and it would go away. Were you on your own when the surgeon came to talk to you? Yes.